a subscriber asked me to react to this type of video and you know what? They convinced me. I'm gonna go ahead and do it. I wanna say thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my channel and who leave comments because you guys matter to me and I really appreciate every single one of you. And I also appreciate those who suggest videos for me to react to because you know what? I don't know what else is out there. There's so many videos, so many channels, so it's good to hear from you. Caitlin and Leah uploaded a video called We Were Harassed with Footage. I want to start off by saying that racism, sexism, and homophobia exists all over the world. Not just the US. I'm, I'm fully aware of this and I hope you guys are too. I fight for human rights. You can also look up that video I made a couple months ago and you'll know more about the LGBTQ community and the struggles that we have been through. I am very excited to watch this video because I want to know what happened to this couple. Are y'all ready to react? Because I am. Let's get it. We posted a video at the start of July, which ended abruptly, okay? We couldn't tell you what happened due to legal reasons. But now we can, okay? On the 30th of June, we were subject to, we were subject to hate crimes due to our sexualities. They are a lesbian couple, by the way. I've never, I don't know about this couple. I have never seen their channel, their videos, but from the thumbnail itself and the name of their channel, it's, that's what it seems to be. The people who did this had been harassing us for months. Damn, okay. However, we do not wish them to receive any hate or anyone to find out who they are. We are simply sharing this for educational purposes, okay. <clears throat> This is why we need Pride Month. And that's what my video is about that I did a couple months ago. Hi guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. So they have an accent, so I'm guessing they're from England, the UK, I'm guessing, I'm not today sure. Today we have a different video and <laughs> a lot of people ask us and you get this question a lot if you're from the LGBTQIA plus community and that is why do we need Pride Month? And we're going to show you why. So we just want to do a quick disclaimer that we do not want the person involved in this video to get any hate, anything like that at all. It is simply, we're doing this for educational purposes and it is something that we have experienced. Okay. We're going to be blaring out their face. We're not going to be showing anything to do with them or give any indication of who they could possibly be. We just want you guys to see this video and know that this is something we've experienced and sadly a lot of other people within our community. So they did bring up the fact that they couldn't say anything earlier because of legal reasons. So I'm guessing they went to courts for whatever happened. And if that person was convicted of something, they could show their face if they, if they choose to. But then again, I'm just speaking from the US laws. Don't know how it is in the UK experienced. So before we go into what happened on the day, we're going to give you a bit of context. We were being harassed by these people for multiple months. Yeah, they were doing multiple different things. So when we say harassed, we mean by intimidation, we would be stared at, we would be feeling very intimidated, they would mm -hmm. give us like horrible remarks every single time we saw them. It wasn't like mm -hmm. um you know, hurting us physically yeah, or anything. It wasn't anything like that. It was more so like verbal and like emotionally. Yeah. We became worried to leave the house as they knew where we lived and these sort of things would occur frequently. That sounds like stalking as well. Definitely uh, a hate crime if it's if they so this begun event for sexuality. occurred at the end of Pride Month. Yes, it <clears> happened <throat> in Pride Month, which should be a month of celebrating and sharing spreading awareness of the LGBT community, um, but instead, um, this happened. <laughs> so we are now going to insert the clip oh, that we shit. are talking about. I don't know if I want to watch this because it's going to piss me off. Leo was filming a YouTube video. Shh. 
She was hiding in the boot of my car when the incident happened. Okay. Leah had a feeling something was going to happen when she saw them coming, so kept the camera rolling. Good. And they're staring at me. We have blacked out the footage to protect the privacy and identity of the person who was harassing us. Damn, I wanted to actually see it. I know I don't, I know I said I didn't want to see it because it's going to piss me off, but these are things that we need to see. Right now, like, proper staring. Like, I wish I could show you, but if I show you, then they're going to, like, go mad. They're staring at me. And she just said... And she just said, is it near a mental hospital? That's her. She just said, is it near a mental hospital? Aren't you from it? At this point, Leah messaged Caitlin to tell her what was happening and that she was in the car outside. <sighs> Caitlin, yeah? I was just vlogging and I got it on camera. Yeah. She said, is it near a mental hospital from here? Aren't you from it? Really? Yeah. That was proof. We think they know about our sexuality and mental health issues from our TikTok. Yeah, right. If I see that on TikTok, you're in trouble. Ah, uh, you just done it yourself. You would, that was proof that you start on us because we weren't bothering you, and you said, "Isn't there a mental hospital?" She just basically admitted to the fact that she knows them from their from their TikTok. And that was proof. We've got proof now. Proof. Yeah, we've got the proof. I didn't say her name. She said that Leah needs to go to a mental. Caitlin's mom then comes out to make sure we are okay. Hospital, cause she's in the boot. I've got it all on camera. The person says, be themselves. My God, I've never known anything like them to. Wow. You must be very bored. I was filming myself and just... She was coming closer to us, as you can hear, the audio is clearer. That, and I've got... Because we've got proof now, you've just... I was doing my own business and you said you need to go to a mental health hospital. That's a disgusting thing to say. Oh, I say. We it's suffer from mental. mental hospital here. That's disgusting. Making out I'm mentally ill for sitting in the boot. That's really horrible. What? You should know better. You should know better. So I've got no nothing to do That's with you really what we do. That's a horrible nasty thing to say to two young girls who have completely yeah, ignored you. Disgusting. Yeah, Absolutely you disgusting. You're She's sitting in the boot. What's it got to do with you? Yeah, she just say that, and you're lesbians and all. So, <laughs> so this is sexuality based. Well, first off, just her attacking their mental health for no apparent reason, just because they saw some TikToks, which I have not seen myself, so I don't know what type of mental disorders they do have, but that does not justify her harassment at all. Mind your business, lady. And now you bring up the fact that they're lesbians? Now this is becoming a hate crime. So I'm taking it, you have all watched that and I just want to alliterate again, we do not want this person to get any hate, we have blurred out their face, we've tried to distort the voice as much as we can, we do not want this person to get any hate, two wrongs do not make a right, we do believe maybe they're uneducated, we hope to believe that, um, mm -hmm. but we are not putting this video out for any reason of spite. We just think we have an audience and we get a lot of questions, especially on TikTok, like, why do you need Pride Month? Mm. And we experience this and we're like, well, do you know what we're going to show you? This is why we need Pride Month. Yeah. I explain what Pride Month is about. Everyone nowadays just seems to think it's about partying and it's not just about that. Go watch my video, guys, and I explain it better. This happens not just to us, it's happened to so many people. There are so many... I'll also link it at the end of this video. ...stories out there like things way way worse than what we are showing you and it is just it's mm -hmm. not fair it's not right and 
people just need to realize that this does happen in a it doesn't matter how small or how severe the harassment is it shouldn't happen at all period go on and using the word and your lesbians too at the end of like an altercation is just mm, it was it was said as in a way like a derogatory way as in like that was an, uh, another reason why they didn't like us yeah. because we are lesbians not just like stating the fact right <laughs> it was like men in and you're a lesbians and all bad way and then to also use like our disabilities our mental health against us saying where's the nearest mental, mental health hospital because you look like you should be in it like it's just unnecessary we fully believe that the reason this person was picking on us was due to our sexuality and that is not okay and it just makes you feel very uncomfortable for a long time we were to be honest, we went through a lot of different stages. When it first happened, we were very upset. We were very anxious. Very, very anxious. Yeah, yeah, very, very anxious. Kind of like worried to leave our house because obviously we didn't want to, it to happen again or it yeah. to, you know, like anything like this to happen. And then we went through a stage of anger. Like we were angry that people even think like this now. Mm. Like we are in 2021. Yeah. Like how can you still <laughs> It's not going nowhere, so girl. Minded? It's not going nowhere. It got better, but it's not going nowhere. I'm telling like, you. Love is literally love. Why does it matter? It's how people are raised, if girl. We love girls. If we love boys, like why does it matter who anybody loves? It's like, no one's yeah. business. And the so. reason why it's taken us this long to tell you guys is mm -hmm. because we phoned the police and the police were really helpful. They said it was a hate crime. Um, mm -hmm. They spoke to these people in question and, and it's, it's been dealt with, it's been dealt with. Obviously legally now it's finished. That is why we are now sharing it with you and we're literally sharing it to spread awareness because it's just... Okay, I'm good. So I'm, glad, I'm glad it didn't get worse. It could have gone to physical. Uh, I'm glad they stopped it on its tracks and they followed and they pursued legally to stop this from happening. It hasn't changed. To continue happening. So we are still completely besotted with each other. We <laughs> yes. Are we're proud to be who we are. Me like, too, that girl. Can't change, and we're never going to stop advocating for people That's in right. the community either, and yeah. for ourselves because That's right. it's needed. Clearly, it's needed, and it's sad that it's even needed. So we just want to say, if you've experienced any hate mm -hmm. or anything like that, we are so sorry. But what we were thinking of doing is, if anyone who is watching this and you're interested. We might make a video um, with different clips from you guys explaining anything you've experienced just to bring the wider community involved and to show people that mm. it's not okay and that it in 2021 it still does occur. Mm -hmm. So having said that, if any of you guys want to send in a video to our Instagrams explaining what's happened to you then feel free to do so mm -hmm. but please remember it will be on youtube so if you don't want it on youtube but you just want to tell your story to us that is completely okay mm -hmm. just let us know just let us know although this wasn't like our usual content um we hope it has opened your minds or it has you know made you realize what goes on we're so thankful and lucky that it didn't go any further and that it hopefully will not go any further right. because trigger warning people have been through things so so bad there have been people that and you never know neither just because the legal side took care of it does not mean that those people are gonna seek revenge gotta be careful badly 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 hurt to the point that their life has been lost um just so so many awful things it's just sad, very sad we are very lucky and we're very grateful and we're glad that we have an audience to like share this to to bring awareness to the subject and we are extremely lucky to have family that support mm. us and yeah as not everybody does so we hope you guys got something from this video um we just want to say like we are okay i don't want anyone worrying we yes. both do we are both perfectly fine we are yeah definitely definitely fine but yeah thank you so much for watching and we'll see you with our regular content next sunday yes we love you lots and we are so grateful for each and every one of you bye guys good ladies i'm glad that you brought this up on youtube and to let your followers know what is happening in the world and that's the good thing about youtube too since so many countries have it we're all able to share our stories 
I personally have not dealt with any hate crimes and I thank God for that. I do get the typical stares, the typical whispers and stuff like that, but nothing, nothing to the point where someone actually tells me something homophobic. Have I witnessed homophobic stuff happening around me? Yes, I have, and this was at a job in Illinois when me and my coworkers were together alone and called our gay male coworker a faggot. He said it out of anger, he stopped himself quickly because, hello, I'm gay and you know that. He didn't apologize, but he, he felt stupid. His face turned red. Now I know where you stand. I mean, thank you for fucking up like that, you know? Let me know what you thought about this video. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.